Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Erin, if you are new to my channel, and I am a stay-at-home mom to five children, and I resell clothing online on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. So today I have an exciting thrift haul to show you all. This is actually from just one thrift store, which it's pretty rare for me to find this many items at one place, so I just wanted to show you all what I found. And I think a lot of this was just the timing of when I got to the store because they were just wheeling out. It was maybe about an hour or so after they opened and they had just finished wheeling out all the new racks for the day. So this thrift store, what I really like about it is they seem to just wheel everything that they're going to put out on the floor out to the floor, you know, beginning of the morning. And then you can, this store also allows you to go through the new racks, which like the Goodwills here, you're not allowed to touch the new racks. And then some of the other thrift stores, they'll bring out new racks constantly, but the employees put them away so fast, it's hard to get to them when there's not an employee standing right by it. So um, this store, they just kind of put them out there and leave them and they'll just throughout the day put away the new inventory. So I got there as it seemed to me they were wheeling out the last rack for the day. So it took me, there was probably like at least 15 carts, maybe 15 to 20 new rack carts. So I just started going through them right away. It probably took me about an hour to get through all of them. And I found a lot of stuff. I actually had to break and go through stuff and just to have room in my cart to add more. So I loved it. This store also compared to some of the other thrift stores, like the Goodwills have a real variety. They have new tags and they have really worn items. Um, but some of the thrift stores that I like to go to really go through the inventory good. And so there's not a lot of wear to a lot of the items, but this thrift store definitely, there's a lot of wear to a lot of the items. So I found some really good pieces, but they were just too worn, so I had to put them back. Um, but I still found a good amount, so I'll show you what I got. Um, I've only listed about five of these items so far, so I'm going to definitely be working on getting all of this listed in the next few days. And I already sold two of those five items. So the first item that sold, I've already shipped out, and it was a figs button down scrub top and I listed it on Poshmark, eBay and Mercari and within 20 minutes of listing it on Mercari, I received an offer. So I had it listed for $40 and I received an offer for $36 plus shipping. So I was happy with how quickly that sold. And then the next item that sold is a brand I've never found before and was really excited when I found it. It's called Set Active, and these are gray biker shorts, and these felt pretty much brand new, and they have the set on the back there. So these sold on Poshmark within an hour after I listed them. So I listed them at 50. I kind of checked comps, and comps were all over the place on this brand. It was my first time selling this brand, so I don't really know quite yet what I should have listed them for, but I listed them for 50 and I received an offer for $40 within an hour of listing them. So I decided to take that $40 offer. So that was I definitely will be picking up this brand again if I come across it. Okay, so then I found Marine Layer Sport. This is my first time finding the Sport line in Marine Layer, and this is a size medium. And they are just a light gray jogger pant. I thought these were really fun. And so I listed these already, and I think I listed them for about $50. So we'll see how those do. I've only sold Marine Layer one other time. So, and that one sold really quickly. So I'm hoping this one will too. Then I found this Toad & Co jacket. It's an extra large. And it's, it's like a shacket, so it's kind of lightweight, but it has texture to it. Just thought this was really fun. Full button down. And then let me see the fabric content because it is, okay, so it's 50% wool, 30% polyester, 20% nylon. So it definitely has that wool feel to it. So I still need to list this one and check comps, but I'm guessing maybe about $40 to $50 I will list this one for. And my Poshmark closet is Aaron Parker 22 if you want to see what I end up listing all this for. Then I found this sports bra. It's Athleta. 
So I didn't realize until I got home there's no tag or size on this one. So I'll need to check measurements and see. I just thought it was really fun, this light gray camo and then the strappy back. So without the size, I'll probably list it a little bit lower, but I'll probably list it for about 25 and hopefully we'll sell for 20. And then another Athleta sports bra. And this was right next to it. So I'm thinking these are probably the same size. And this one is, let's see, a 34 D double D. And this one is a newer style. It's from, let's see, summer of 20. So a little less than a year old. So I will probably list this. I might list this for about 28. And then I got this Lululemon tank top, which I do get very nervous with white. It seems like in the thrift store, it never, I never see stains and then I get it home and I find a little stain on it. But this one actually was really good, no stains. Um, there's no size on this. Um, to me, it looks like probably a size six, but I will just list measurements and let them know there's not a size. I will probably list that for about 25. These, I love finding this brand, Everlane, and it's a size small, which is kind of hard to see there. So a jogger pant, black. I think these are like the classic French Terry jogger pant. And these I listed for, I think around $50, maybe 45. So I did find a few sweaters, which are off season, but I still think, you know, it's worth picking up. Sleeping on snow, this is anthropology. So this is actually one size. It doesn't have a size on it. I just thought this is so cozy, pretty color, and it's the wrap front, and it's like a poncho. So I listed this one already, and I believe I listed it for 45. This brand is always exciting to find. Patagonia, size small, and just like a half button pullover shirt. And it's like the, almost like a chambray fabric, but it's got a little bit yeah, it's blue. Looks almost gray in the camera. So this I listed for $35. Okay, so this I think is, it is my most exciting find to me. Um, when I was going through the racks, I saw this cardigan and it felt like a really good quality and was interesting, but I didn't recognize the brand. So I just put it in my cart and then when the cart got full, I went over to the side and started looking up comps on things. And when I pulled, typed in this brand, I like gasped at what it was because it, I was not expecting it. So maybe you all know this, but I did not. So this is Bia and it's a size large. And this is actually a collection of Johnny Was. So that's what I was so... I mean, it does look like Johnny was, but it doesn't, like, I was not expecting it. So this was a really exciting find. It's hooded. It's a heavyweight cardigan. This, I think, retailed for three to four hundred dollars. And I still need to check comps more, but when I checked them in the store, they looked really good, obviously, because it's Johnny was. And um, we'll see how it does. But I'm guessing I will list it maybe around 175 and see kind of what interest it gets. But it's really fun and just a nice color, like an oatmeal cream color. So we'll see how it does. Okay, so then I found new with tag, Anzi, I think is how you say it. And it's the mesh halter, it's a medium large. And I would not have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags, but I just thought it was a fun little sports bra. So I would probably list this for about 25. Okay, so this brand I've talked about before. I know a lot of people really love it when they find it, but for me, the pieces have not sold very well. But when I found this piece, I really like the style. So I'm hoping this one will sell well. So it's Adidas Stella McCartney. It's a size medium and they are black and they've got this mesh detailing and then it has the logo at the bottom hem. So I, I'm hoping these seem a little bit more of a current style than the other pieces that I found. So I'm hoping they will do well. I will list them maybe about $45. And 
This brand I've only found one other time and when I got it home, I realized one of the zippers was broken on it. They were jogger pants. So I ended up keeping them for myself. But this one, when I found this, it was new with tags. I don't even know how you say this brand, but it's A-L-A-L-A. -L -A -L -A. And it was new with tags for 75, a size large. Just a red sports bra. And they have their name on the back. So comps looked okay on the sports bras. The pants definitely have better selling price. Um, so maybe I'll list this for about $40 and see how that does. So the next item I found is this pair of Beyond Yoga leggings and the size tag was removed on these. So normally I would have passed on them, but they had the Peloton logo on them. So anything that has Peloton logo on it in the past for me has sold really well. So usually it sells really quickly and for a pretty good amount. So I definitely wanted to pick these up. These are a cropped length and they're a really buttery soft legging. So they have a little bit of wear on this back logo where just one part of it kind of peeled off, but the leggings itself are in really good condition. So I'm guessing these are a size medium. I'll put the measurements in the listing so people can compare to theirs but I hope they will still do pretty well even without the size. And maybe I'll list these for about 40 to 45. Then I found a pair of Gymshark leggings. The size pretty much can't even see it's been, it's faded in the wash. So the leggings were in good, good condition. And I think a lot of people who buy Gymshark already have it. So hopefully people can just compare the measurements to their leggings to see how they'll fit. But they look like a size small to me and I'll probably list these for maybe about 30 to $35. Okay, so I just remembered another item that already sold. So one by one teaspoon, and these are, they always put their, logo, their uh, style names on the back patch, so these are the Bonitas. In the past, this style has always sold really quickly, and then these sold really quickly as well. So um, great, I think, for summer, like when you're wearing your swimsuit just for little shorts to wear over them. So these sold on Poshmark and I'll put the picture up here because I forget what they sold for, but they sold uh, same day. So they sold really quickly. And this pair of fig scrub pants. They are a size small. And the black straight leg, I found these several times and they sell pretty quickly and usually for about maybe $30. So I'll probably list them for about 35. This was the first time I picked up this brand. It is Varley. Just thought this is pretty. It has the mesh at the top and then mesh kind of panel here and in the back. So this is a size large. I listed this one already and I think I listed it for $35. Then Athleta size medium, black dress. And it's really lightweight and soft, comfy dress. To me, it seems like it would be a really great just little swim cover up. I haven't listed this one yet, but I will probably list this for maybe 35 to 40. Then I found another Gym Shark. It's a size medium. I believe this is men's. That's their logo. And it has the V-neck, the quick dry fabric. So I've never sold uh, Gymshark for men, so I don't know what I'll list this at, but maybe about, maybe $28. I love this. It is Moth, which is anthropology brand. It's a size medium and it's 100% wool. So definitely a good quality cardigan. It's a pretty color. It has these little details on it and on the sleeves. I did notice a flaw when I was steaming. So it has like velvet cuff and then this is supposed to be attached and kind of along a little twirly design. So this came undone. It's still attached and it is the only flaw on this. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So I still think it will do pretty well. It's very pretty and it has a little, oh, this, let's see, this one's a little loose too. So there's a little bit of wear on this, but definitely still wearable. So. I think I will probably try listing this maybe about $50 and see how that does. 
And then I found this Athleta, and this is one of their newest styles because it has the style name written on the back. So this is called the Salutation Stash Pocket Tight. They're a size medium. And these are in pretty much brand new condition. They have the little side pockets. And just a fun print. So since these are a really current style, I might list them between 50 to 60 once I check comps, we'll see. So this next brand is a new brand to me, but when I felt the dress and saw the label, it looked like a good brand. It is Pruenza Schuler would be my guess of how you say it. So it is this pretty paneled color block dress. It has a leather patch at the bottom or a leather panel at the bottom. And then this is rattlesnake skin. So I thought that was very interesting. So I checked comps at the thrift store pretty quickly on this. I still definitely need to do more research, but the comps were all over the place. So some of this, these dresses in this brand sold in the hundreds of dollars and then other ones sold like 20 to 30 dollars so i don't know how this is gonna do i just thought it was in really good condition and just fun a unique dress so i definitely wanted to try it out and check my closet if you're interested to see what i end up listing it for this next brand i think this is the third time i've picked it up it is heli hansen and I got these because they're new with tags and they're a base layer legging, which usually do pretty well. So it's like a fuchsia pink color, full length. I haven't checked any comps on this yet, so maybe I'll list it for about $35. And I got this pair of rag and bone jeans. They're a size 25 and the style is Dre. So they are like a slim straight leg and they have the released hem and then destroyed knee area. So I think these will do pretty well. I will list them maybe about $45. This brand does pretty well for me. It's usually pretty saturated, but it still sells in a decent amount of time. So it's Wild Fox, it's a medium. This was different than most of their items that I find being the color block and it's got it's a little bit more, a little thicker than most of their sweaters that I found. So I thought this was fun. I'll probably list it maybe about 35 to $40. This was an exciting find on new racks. So probably about 75% of these items were on the new racks. And this was one of them, another one by one teaspoon. I haven't listed this one yet. The style is Junkyard. They are a size 28. New with tags and just real fun. It's like an off-white, almost cream colored, heavily distressed skirt and it has the raw frayed hem. So this probably retailed new, it's, it has this tag too. It probably retailed new, maybe about $150. So I might list it around, I like listing things at like $68. And then I sent our offers for 60 with this kind of shipping. That price usually does pretty well. Um, so I'll probably maybe try around that price and see how it does. This is something I never even checked comps on. I was just excited to find the brand. It's hard to see, it's Icebreaker. So I've never found this brand before. And it has that. So just a basic sports bra. And there's really nothing that special to it, but with being that brand, I definitely wanted to try it out. So we'll see how it does. I haven't even looked up any comps on this, so I don't know what I will even price it at, but it's just fun to try brands that you've never tried before and see how they do. This brand always does pretty well. It is standard James Purse size four, which is their sizing. So I think this might be, I'm thinking it's an extra large, but to me it looks like a large. So this is like a dark, like a slate gray dress. And it has all the ruching on the side. It does have a flaw and I've washed, I've done the stain treatment and tried to get it out, but it's still kind of there. It's hard to see, but just on the very edge here, it looks like maybe a makeup stain. So I kind of debated if I should list this. I don't really like listing items with flaws, but it is pretty minor. It would be, very hard for anybody to see it when it's being worn. 
So I think I still will list it and it won't get as much probably since it has that flaw, but I still think somebody will like it. So we'll see how that does. This brand I was so excited to find. I haven't found it in a while. It is a gold day and these are a size 27 and they are a black corduroy pant and they are it's so hard to tell sometimes when you look at things. I think that's a skinny leg. And these are in really good condition. They have the button fly, which always seems to sell pretty quickly when they have that. So they are off season and I need to lint roll them, but I think they will sell in the fall. Okay, so then right at the end of when I was about to check out, I noticed one new rack that I hadn't gone through yet. So that is actually where I found the fig scrub top that already sold, and then I found these next two dresses. And actually I found that one teaspoon skirt there too. So it was a good one. So this is Johnny Was, and this is a size medium. And black dress, kind of a shorter length, and it has a lot of really pretty floral embroidering on it on the back. So these always do really well. So I found that one, and then this one is really similar, but the embroidery is on the other side. Size large. So pretty, I think. These usually sell um, within a week when I find them and list them, so we'll see if these do the same. And I don't know what I'll list these at yet. Okay, so another brand I've never found before and was really excited to find. The Couples, I think is how you say it. Size extra small, it's the Couples Sport. And these are a navy blue pant and they're cuffed and casual, really soft and comfy. And then it has these back pockets with little leather trim. So I listed these, I think I listed these for $60. And I don't know if they've gotten any likes yet. So it might be one of those brands that just sit for a while before they sell. So we'll see, but I like the style and hopefully they'll sell somewhat quickly. Then I found this pair of Lululemon pants and it has the logo on the back. These were um, not on the new rack and they were turned inside out in the activewear section so nobody could see that they were Lululemon and the size tag was removed. So when I felt them, I could tell they were Lululemon and was happy to see they were. And they do have the size dot. So they're a size four. And these were in great condition. They're the high rise. You can fold the waistband over and you can also move the waistband to the inside. So I listed these, I think for 60 or $70. Then I found this Good Human cardigan. It is a size medium and just a really comfy, it's like a sweatshirt material cardigan. It has, it says stay positive, and then it has their logo on the back and it's hooded. So I listed this one, I believe for $35. Okay, so this was probably my second favorite find after that uh, Johnny Was cardigan. And when I got home, I was so excited about it and I got home and was steaming it and I found a pretty major flaw. So definitely is disappointing. It is rag and bone size zero. It was new with tags for $270. It's called the Nina dress and it's 100% silk. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's just this nice fitted kind of slip dress and this straps in the back are really fun. So the reason I did not notice this flaw is because of how it drapes, but it has this big rip in it. And it is lined still. So when I first saw it, I just kind of uh, steaming it. I just took it off the steamer and just kind of added it to my pile of stuff that I'm going to redonate. But then I thought about it and decided I want to at least try to sell it and see how it does because it is, it's right along the seam. So I'm hoping someone would be able to fix it. Um, so we'll see, I don't know. But I'll list it and just see, definitely will list it low because I can't expect a lot from it with that flaw. But that was just disappointing because, um, you know, it's so pretty, but it happens. 
So we'll see. I Maybe I'll list it for about $40 and see what happens with that. Okay, so then I found two of the same tank tops. I might have passed on these if I had just found one, but I thought since there was two, it'd be two easy listings. One's a size 8 and one's a size 10, and it has the little built-in bra with the little tank over it and then the adjustable waist. So I thought they were pretty. Definitely an older style, but maybe I'll list them for about $25. These I was really excited to find. It's different style than I've ever found in this brand. It's Outdoor Voices, size large, and they're a blue... Um, it's like the quick dry, like wind pant material. So I've only found leggings in their pants. It has zipper pockets and these are in really good condition. So I haven't listed these yet, but maybe about 45 to 50. And then another pair of Lululemon pants. I thought these were men at first, but they're actually women's. They're gray. And their logo and it does have the size in the zipper. I think they're a size 10. So these also have a tiny flaw, which it's hard, to, it's hard to see, but I'll still definitely disclose it. It's just a little spot that's lighter. I did wash these and try to get it out, but I think the fabric just got light in there somehow. So I might list these for about 40. thought this dress was really pretty. It is Maeve. It's Anthropology brand. It's a size six. And this just looked like a really pretty summer dress. It has little floral pattern on it and button down. So I think that will do pretty well. Maybe I'll list it for about 40. And then my last item is another Athleta item. It's a size extra large tall. And I have sold this style before and they sold pretty quickly. They're a wide leg pant, really soft fabric, and it has this little trim down the sides of both legs. So being an extra large tall, I think it will do well, and I will list it maybe about $40 to $45. Okay, so that is all of my finds to show you all. I am really excited about it. I think there's a lot of really fun pieces in here that are going to do really well. Definitely different seasons, a good amount of sweaters, but then some shorts and um, active wear. So a good variety of things. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I put out reselling content, mostly thrift hauls and what sold videos. And be sure to hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload my next video. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you all soon.